Welcome to Wages of Sins, 31 Days of Horror. I am Eric Miller, and I had the extreme pleasure of reviewing the movie It. We all know this movie and how awesome it is. I'll read the synopsis. This is uh, based on Stephen King's uh, best-selling novel. Uh, it became a, I believe it was like a two or three part TV movie. Uh, and here's a synopsis. It can be anything, a feigned monster that won't stay in the movie screen, something ominous lurking in the basement. No matter what your biggest fear is, no one knows it better than Stephen King. Um, I remember watching this when I was a kid. And this was probably the first movie that truly scared me. And a lot of it, a lot of this movie in my memory and in my fear was based on how beautiful of a job Tim Curry did portraying uh, Pennywise the Clown. Um, uh, well, I guess I'll, I'll spoil a little bit of it. Uh, the idea is that uh, Pennywise the clown is, is a very ancient force that sleeps and every X number of years it wakes up and has to feed or chooses to feed um, and it takes the shape or the form of the uh, Pennywise the clown uh, again played by uh, Tim Curry and um, there's a lot of elements in this movie that are really just fascinate me um, it feeds on fear uh, so for a lot of people, it's, it, it, show, it, it manifests in what scares them the most. So maybe the clown is its basic form and it, show, it, it appears and when it's doing killing, it becomes what they fear the most. They don't really show that. They always just show him in Pennywise until the very end of the movie. Um, I like the idea that the town of Derry, where this takes place, it's basically the all the adults are kind of either they know about it and choose to ignore it or they just can't see what's going on or maybe they you know maybe it's done something to them because it's stated several times that you know as the core group of seven children hey we're seven now lucky seven the lucky seven as they call themselves as they grow up and they move out of Derry, they forget everything that happened in Derry. And they don't remember about anything, including Pennywise the Clown or the murders, until they actually return and they cross the town or city line. They start remembering facts about their childhood and what the clown, what Pennywise did to them. Um, it's got a, uh, another theme of this movie is the like I said, the lucky seven, the seven children, the power of their friendship and their their bond and their strength together. And uh, basically, when they're kids, they make a promise that if it ever returns, then they'll come back and battle it again. And that's the premise of, like I said, it was a two-part movie. The first part was mainly the childhood and what happened, and then the second half was when you know they all at random points through the first half of the movie. Uh, get the call to hey it's back and of course they handle it in different ways they all basically drop what they're doing based on the power of a promise and a friendship and return to Derry to face their fear um, and uh, like I said the stars it's got uh, a see Harry Anderson from Night Court it's got John Ritter awesome actor Annette O'Toole great actress uh, who is that Richard Thomas. Um, it's got Cincinnati WKRP. It's just a really powerful movie, and the, you know this probably is what makes a lot of people hate clowns. Uh, I think Tim Curry just nailed it, and I can't think if they. I, I hear, I, I read um, that they're going to remake this in 2016. And they have some character already cast as Pennywise, so I know it's a remake of, of somehow relating to actual Stephen King's novel. I 
I don't know why they're doing that. You really can't top Tim Curry. You, you just can't. Um, but yeah, this movie was one of the first, you know, I mean, I've been scared before, but this, this had, I, I, maybe I was young and that's what I was impressionable, but this movie just had such a powerful, powerful, just fear. And yeah, so kudos to, you know, obviously Stephen King is a brilliant horror writer. Um, and the way they adapted this movie, or adapted the book into a movie, I think it did a stellar job. So I'm going to rate this, and yes, in case you could not have guessed it, the scale I'm going to use is one to five, five obviously being the best, one, you know, best and I'll watch it again, one being I'll shelve it and never see it. Um, but yeah, if you could not guess, this movie gets five in curves. So thank you, Stephen King. Thank you to the incredible cast. And uh, go out and watch this if you haven't seen it already. Uh, and that's all for today. So have a good night and stay scared. We all know this movie and how awesome it is.